Hi, this Ford Ranger 3.2 liter, uh, which has five cylinders, uh, was had a issue uh, that stopped you know moving the vehicle and all of a sudden. So what we uh, we have done the initial scan, which I'll be publishing here. Uh, it was detecting <coughs> with uh, incorrect uh, gear ratio and then some of the other DTT, DTCs related to the uh, transmission or PCM power terrain uh, control power terrain module uh, so we when we got the vehicle to our workshop uh, first thing we did was the oil level uh, oil level was uh, oil level was uh, we were able to you know uh, recover only one or one or one and a half liters of the uh, uh, transmission oil and we were suspecting it was a leak or being contaminated and also it, the oil was being very very uh, contaminated and we were initial suspect was the uh, the oil seal here so we replaced with the uh, oil seal but we couldn't get the uh, genuine oil seal so we uh, got the uh, the local market genuine uh, oil seal as well as the, there is a sleeve inside it's been damaged so we couldn't uh, find that as well so we have uh, uh, fabricated the sleeve with the help of the uh, lathe guys and then insert it here so i in my videos i will show you while i'm just uh, explaining this and we 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 uh use the uh uh the genuine transmission oil and then we uh, assembly assembled and then install the gearbox uh, and we shifted the gears and no all leaks nothing so we have done a test drive after the test drive uh, it was leaking and again and uh, so we didn't had any other option so we removed the gearbox again and we were suspecting it is something to do with the sleeve or something to do with the seal so we uh, then we we checked everything again we did the milling of this shaft and whether it is being uh, while it's rotating with it, it making a oval shape or something but it's nothing has happened so and then again we found another type of like steel car uh, oil seal we replaced that and then we reinsert the uh, uh, top convert and then we reassembled and then uh, mounted the gearbox and it's so hard to mount the gearbox and it's not an easy uh, then again <clears throat> uh, we did the usual uh, routine checkup with the uh, uh, gear shifting and then with the uh, uh, you know uh, I start the vehicle accelerate and it, no leaks at all but the moment we started to move the vehicle it was leaking again so horrible and uh, so we we had no other chance we took it off the gearbox out and then we recheck everything here anything to do with the, the top shop side uh, we pressurized and then you know uh, it didn't help at all so then uh, uh, we realized we we noticed that something have to be done with the torque converter and we have seen these marks even in the past and we thought it's a shape of it or it probably having any sort of other uh <coughs> torque converter as well even if you look at the this is a torque converter of nissan hour that also have a so, so some sort of a patch uh we uh, fabricated the uh, type of uh, you know coupling and then hose to pressure this up and we did pressure uh, with the help of uh, air and it couldn't uh, you know trigger out any uh, bubbles or any leak then after uh, we refabricated the same uh, the gadget here and then uh, pressure with the n2 the nitrogen and then uh, we realized there is a bubbles up uh, from here one of the uh, let me take this off somewhere here where we have marked and it is leaking uh, definitely somewhere from here so it proof that the marks were in this marks also proof that the leak uh, been there for some times and it probably a, a very uh, minor leak and then it uh, the hole or the crack must have been expanded to you know spread a, a oil across so what happens is uh, when the torque converter uh, spin the leaks you know pubs from here and then goes around and then throw out from here so this is what we experience and uh, repairing this 
is an hectic work it can be done or cannot be done uh, we haven't done that but i'm still looking for another torque convert if we don't get it but we need to give a try of uh, uh, try of repair in this and it is not an easy work to do we have to you know remove all these uh, driverts and then find the crack welded and then re uh, uh hug it is it's not that you know we revert but we have to align this and it's not an easy work to do but however uh this is something first time we experience a crack of uh, uh torque converter and that also uh identified in ford so uh, we are being you know repairing the the navaras like number of uh, navaras being repaired the gearbox uh, but nothing has been you know uh found something like that so this is something uh, very serious to be uh take into note anyone who is uh, uh who have noticed the oil leak irrespective of ford hilux navara nissan i don't know you name it take a very serious uh question to question to uh, look at them very carefully take your vehicle to a, a proper place and then uh, get inspected and you know it things happens in everything in out of the box right and uh, this would have been a very simple uh, point to look at the seal the seal is damaged replace the seal and even we do the same thing we did the same thing until we realize uh, into a real uh, uh, situation so uh, this all are being out of box things right so because we normally nobody expect the crack of the uh, uh, torque on but only thing is we have experienced the poor uh, rotation spinning of the uh, talk on water but not the crack of it and uh, so this is what i wanted to tell you guys and if you if you notice any gear any oil leak or any uh, shifting issues so this is something that you have to uh, check lucky luckily nothing has happened to the gearbox by draining the uh, oil so it's still the clutch discs are uh, uh, in very original states and the owner is very lucky the poor guy is very lucky to remain Uh, everything is original but the talk on would have been cracked thank you guys